play well at all. Like from start to finish, we were just decidedly average. Yeah. And I mean, it started, it started all right the first 20 minutes, but they just came on top, didn't they? Yeah, exactly. Like we, we started the game well. We had a few chances, then we just fell away, and they got on top. And it was like from that point on, it was just not great. Where do you where do you see this going now this season? I don't know. Like. We started well, we've had too many injuries and now the season's just, just fallen apart. Yeah, pretty tough. You know, well, I thought first 10 minutes in the first half, same in the second half, and then we just sort of faded away. Yeah. We've got no bite though, have we? No. It's, it's tough to watch. I mean, obviously they've been decimated by injuries, but at the same time, you just want to see a bit of fight, don't you? Yeah, I do. I still think we miss Jack. I don't know why we don't play Jack Price. I really don't. That midfield has just got nothing. Yeah, I went to the Bolton game. I didn't think we, were that, we didn't play with any cohesion. No confidence. Uh, it's just not really very good at the moment. It's mm. just pretty grim. Well, I was at Reading, and you know that game, I suppose, could have gone either way. Whereas this one was all, all Brentford, really. So um, you know, it's just not much going at the moment. Bow poor and just disjointed. We started making them look like Bar uh, Barcelona. Yeah. And there was a guy out there, number 15 for Brentford. Ran the game. And he, was a, he, he was the he was in the Esther. I don't know. I don't think anything can change though, because we have too many injuries. Our problem is like it's nothing that we can really do about it at the moment. It's just like January passed. We were doing all right, and then we got a few injuries to some key players, and now it's like Salah so Phobia. Yeah, start. exactly. A Phobia left, which we can't really do anything about. Graham got injured, and then next thing you know, the season's downhill from here. And hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, we can keep keep ourselves up. Is, uh, is Kenny Jack the right man to, to take balls for? Yeah, I, I think Kenny's a good. I think Kenny's a good manager. I just think at the moment, like a mixture of injuries and unfortunate performances is just, yeah, it, it could tell our season if anything. Yeah. Uh, for me, yes, I, I can't see any alternative, frankly. Um, there's nobody else available, maybe Paul Clement, but no, I, I think, you know, with, with the young players that he's brought, hopefully, you know, we can see out the season and start again next season. Yeah, I'm normally one for, like, generally sticking with managers rather than sacking. I don't see the point I mean, in sacking in front of yeah, I, I mean, I don't see it getting better in the short term, though. And, you know, I, I guess you know a lot of the fans who, who would come on and talk would probably say, you know, we want to see we want to see some improvement certainly before the end of the season. Well, I thought, to be honest, I thought we'd probably got enough points to be safe. But actually, after watching that game, I'm not so sure. Kenny Jacket, obviously the pressure's a little bit on him. He's got to walk past the fans at the end of the full time. Yeah. You know, did you feel that he's the right man to, to keep the club? Well, I did, but he tinkers all the time, doesn't he? And I think, you know, one of the things, if you look over the last few games, we've had no consistency, have we? Never, never played the same team, never give guys a chance to settle. I think it's a mistake playing Van der Parra tonight. It would be better to leave him alone, to be honest. Big mistake.